This weekend, I flew across the country to visit my friend John. John and I have been working together on a podcast, so we have to record that, but at the same time, we have to get into some fun shenanigans. 48 hours with Ha Ha House. <laughs> Yo, magic. Yes, sir. I, I come out here in the studio with a new car. <laughs> Crazy, bro. Let's go. Get some soul food. We drove all the way out here for it. Hey man, I didn't know. Unforeseen circumstances. <laughs> Literally, on the side of the door, due to unforeseen circumstances, <laughs> we are closed today. The one day that I had time to come here and eat this food, they said, Nah, we closed, dog. Nah, you ain't getting no soul food out good. here. <laughs> you ain't getting this out here. Nah, you good. What's the new move? Yeah, we gonna find another. I got now. I got a feeling for some more soul food. So yeah, soul gotta, food. There's got to be another soul food. I'm feeling that. All right, this restaurant has Kool Aid. I'm in a restaurant that had Kool-Aid in years. <laughs> I love Kool-Aid, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, so for the baby. So, let me see the oxen. Let me see the oxen. I'm gonna punish all this shit. <laughs> Bro, that soul food was crazy. Woo! That was probably some of the best soul food. That's some of the best food I've had like out here in Washington. This is my third time here. It's the best, some of the best food I've had since I've been out here. A little pricey, a little pricey, but I was about to say good food is worth paying the price for. It literally tastes like, it tasted like I made it at home. You yeah, know? it did. That's what it, that's why I was it loving really it. Did, yeah. Like, it's like somebody made it in their own kitchen. Yeah, literally, bro. Yeah, yeah. I'm happy. I, right? <laughs> I'm good. Like, man, I think that's the most I've eaten too while I've been out here. Like, I don't normally eat heavy when I'm out here like that. That's the heaviest I've eaten out here, mm -hmm. for sure. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Shout out to Seattle, man. They got some sleeper spots for good food. We walking around. What is this, Governor's? Governor's? <laughs> <laughs> Governor Hill. Capitol Hill. Capitol Hill. There you go. Damn. We're walking around Capitol Hill right now. I don't know what we're doing, but we're just vibing, bro. Going with the flow. We're going with the flow. Walking around, yeah. seeing where the wind and the streets take us. It was. It was nice. It was a beautiful day, and then it got cold, bro. Just about the rain drop. Yep. Oh yeah, I feel the rain drop too. So we walked around this area, and of course, leave it to good old Seattle to start raining on us. Unfortunately, I did forget to film the rest of the night, but we had a great time going from different bars to different bars, getting good food and good drinks, and the night was amazing. After spending some awesome time in Seattle and having a great night, we ended up calling it a night and getting ready for day two. This dude, Jaws, getting ready to go right now, but man, day one was lit. Uh, day two is starting now. I leave in the morning though, so this was a quick in and out trip. But we gonna have some fun. You me crazy. Day two. <laughs> Racing. <laughs> Let's go. Um, I just went to a thrift store. Yeah. And um, <laughs> bought a suitcase. <laughs> Shout out to Value Village. <laughs> In my defense, because of the podcast, I travel a lot. Mm -hmm. And I said, you know what? I I was already thinking it on the plane because my bag is really heavy to carry around. I need it to be on wheels. It's really heavy to carry around and I do a lot of this traveling for for the podcast, a lot of moving around and carrying two bags every single time is always a pain in the butt. Mm -hmm. So now I can put my book bag in between the thing yep. and drag the thing. Oh, this is gonna be great. I don't gotta carry nothing. Nope. Oh, so now the test is gonna be, can I get my duffel bag, my current duffel bag, all in the new suitcase and the bag itself in the suitcase. 
I ain't gonna hold you, dog. If I can't, it's just gonna get thrown out. I was gonna say you can just leave it at the house. I'll throw it out. You I don't need it. it. House. I don't need it. Oh, okay. Or you can throw it out. Yeah, cause it, it'd be the same thing. Cause I'm, I'm, like, how am I gonna get it home next time? <laughs> if I couldn't get it home this time, I'm not gonna be able to get it home you know, next time. <laughs> <laughs> like, just throw it out. Time to set up for podcasting. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Man. Make sure you go over to On The House on YouTube. I'll link it in the description. Mm -hmm. Fire content over there. Fire. You know. <laughs> yes, definitely, man. Um, we don't really do in-person episodes, but whenever I come out here, I try to do, like, at least every couple months, come out here so we could film in person. So make sure y'all go over there and check it out. That's why y'all y'all see y'all probably will see a lot of these vlogs with us hanging out, because I come over here to record. This is why it's very important to buy extra batteries for your cameras. Ooh. This is why. This is why. So I'm going to invest in some extra batteries at some point for my camera. Because clearly I do a lot of filming, do a lot of traveling, and I need extra batteries. I never needed them before, so I never invested in it. And my camera batteries are kind of expensive. Did you know my camera battery is $100 a pop? So... Yes, hundred dollars a pop. So, <sighs> never mind. I'll just bring the dummy battery next time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. By the way, this was that new suitcase I talked about earlier. At a thrift store, I got this for ten bucks, dog. On the outside, it's a little beat up, but on the inside, it looks brand new, dog. Brand new. That's all that matters. As I ride back to the airport, a real part of me is sad to be leaving. There's something about Seattle that feels like home. It feels like I'm leaving a piece of me here. With that being said, I will definitely be back. And honestly, who knows, maybe I'll find a permanent home over here on the West Coast. <laughs>